You want to hang out, Buster? No, that's my actual diploma from 1986. I needed another one. I needed a copy. Because I need it for a, uh, a thing I'm applying for. Buster, come on. You want to hang out? Want to hang out? No? Buster. Buster. Yeah, I'm, I've called, I'm in touch with Zahn. Hey. Nothing? It's not Irish music. It might be somewhat Irish. It's dulcimer music. I'm not sure where it's from. I bought a bunch of records yesterday. I bought. I just picked up this um, this dulcimer record it's from 1962. I got this Live Gun Club thing. Willie Nelson picked up this old Bob Wills record. Bill Evans Trio. Old Them record. I don't know what this is. Nina Simone live. I got three copies of the Northman soundtrack. It was on gold vinyl. I went hiking with Gimme Dan today. Um, all right. Dude, it looks like the comments uh, are good. Looks like we're back on track. I had to fucking, I, I fucking changed my password again and checked in my login history. And I don't know if someone was suspect or not, but I did that again. And it seems to have worked. So, all right, let's go deal with the cats. I got to try to get my work done. I got Jerry Harrison coming over here today. And uh, I got to do that. Nikki Glazer is back on the show tomorrow. That's some some seriously dirty raw talk. Me and Nikki Glazer. She brings it out of me. I mean, not gratuitous. Honest. Hi. So you're just too happy out here? You didn't want to hang out? You want to hang out? Huh? Very hard to do this through the cage. Hi, Sam. I don't expect much out of you. I don't expect much out of you, Sam. Maybe someday. All right? You're just a bruiser. All you like is Buster, but you tolerate me. I understand. I understand. Bring more young people on my podcast. I guess, you know, tell me some with a story. I mean, I think I've had, I don't know. I, I don't know who the youngest person I've had on was. Probably the Lord. But, uh, uh, I don't know. It's usually about, it's not an ageist thing. It's about, you know, what's the story? Why? I've had some people on in their 20s at different times. Hmm. Any Patrice stories? Not today. I've only got the one Patrice story and you can watch it. I mean, I used to hang out with him occasionally at the cellar here and there. Go listen to the podcast I did with him. You want Patrice stories? Go dig up the episode of WTF with Patrice. That's a hell of a story. Nikki does seem healthier lately.
Yeah, Zazie Bates. Zazie Bates. Zazie Bates was on. There's no glow season four possibilities. Nothing I've heard. If there is, I haven't heard about it. What do I think about Chelsea and Joe Coy? Great. They seem happy. I guess. I don't know. She seems okay. They both seem pretty good. What is there to think about it? I'm not bringing Zazie again. I just had her on. Orville Peck. Yeah, that guy's kind of interesting, it seems. I don't know. I don't know who Bridget Everett is. I don't think. Maybe I do. Oh, they broke up? Oh, oh all right. So what? Uh, I seem cranky today. This is definitely not cranky, dude. You must not hang around much. Ask anybody who's been here a bit. This was not cranky. How was the Austin crowd? What are you talking about? It's been months since I was in Austin. I got rid of the Explorer. Michael Hurley, I talked to Michael Hurley's guy, Mike, and you know, it, Mike Hurley's like, you know, it's hit or miss with him. And, you know, I, unless he really wants to do it, I'm not gonna try to, you know, pull stuff out of that dude. You know, he doesn't, he sounds like a cranky dude who like, if you catch him on the right day, it'll work out. And I don't, it's, it, it sounds like a lot of work to me. I exchanged the Explorer. Do Jim and Sam. I'm not going to do Jim and Sam. I, you know, maybe I'll do it in New York, but I don't. I don't need to do Jim and Sam. I don't. Think, does Jim even want to do Jim and Sam? Um, okay. Um, so I traded in the Explorer to to the guy at Banker. Because I wanted the Les Paul Jr. And that's what I have. I would interview Chloe Feynman. A lot of times they're not out here that much. I'm not going to do Brian Wilson. The guy is just too sad to me. Um, I've, I've turned that down before. Uh, yeah, I got the Explorer, uh, the, the, the Junior instead. I'm on Tim's Chronic, yeah. I'm fucking... I'm, you know, I, I, I'm definitely on the Timmies. Yeah, I would interview Cher, of course. This is what I traded. I got. I gave him back the Explorer, and I got this motherfucker. This thing is the best. Um, I saw Tim Dillon last night. I don't know. Like I don't know what he's doing stand-up wise, but he's always pleasant to me. Bob left sits. No, nah, that's not going to happen. He was like a complete dick to me early on. Though he listened a lot. Did I interview him? I don't think I did. Sugar Detox is great. This is day 10. No, the Explorer is not the one I got in. I got the Strat in um, 
Seattle. And it's okay. Like, I liked it a lot at first, but the next weird. No, I just mentioned Brian Wilson. That's not going to happen. Not with me anyways. I, you know, he's, he, 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 there's something I, it, he hurt, it, it's too sad for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm not this huge, like, Beach Boys guy. Yeah, I like stress. One of my thoughts on Andrew Schultz. Again, I don't really know what he does. I saw him for a couple of minutes. I, my fundamental feeling is, is that he's a button pushing kind of probably right wingy guy. But I did see him do a pretty funny joke when I stuck my head in. Again, I, I don't know enough about a stand up to assess that. But I think, you know, culturally and politically, there's something disconcerting about him. Chris Rock has been on. Patty Smith has been on. Kevin James has been asked um, before. He doesn't seem to give a shit. Jim Jarmusch, sure, I would do Jim Jarmusch. But if you start asking me, people that have been on, I'm going to stop this. I don't know who Warren Ellis is. I don't know if Johnny Greenwood can talk. I would do better, yeah. T thoughts on Towns Van Zandt, same as Brian Wilson. Very sad, hard to listen to. reached out to me about Ralph Bakshi. He's out in the fucking desert somewhere in New Mexico and uh, I don't know. sent me a cool pedal. Uh, but I don't know. Ronnie Chang's a good idea. Yeah, why hasn't that happened? I wonder. wtfpod.com slash podcast if double check before you start spitting names out no Kit did not find a home for that dog and it's terrible I don't know about Joe Perry I'm not sure he's a great Farrell's been on uh, I don't know where if Joe, uh, Joe Perry can talk or whether or not you necessarily want to hear him talk starting to do some uh, revisits with people that I like talking to. There's no lag today, I don't think. I've asked Natterman to be on, but he's always in New York. I don't really, I'm really not going to do, Mike Watts been on, wtfpod.com slash podcast.
going to stop this live right now if you don't stop with the names. <laughs> Yeah, all amp distortion. song tune.
Let's do it. You want to? I'm playing through two little fucking tube amps back here. Daisy chain together. It's a little fucking champ and a little uh, deluxe. Cranked. Let's improvise. Let's improvise.
John Mayer. John Mayer is a very good guitar player. I just was making that up. Um, all right. Check, check, one, check, two. Check one, check, check two. Oh yeah. Hey folks, today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful website and grow your business or personal brand. It's got everything you need and it's super easy to use. And there are great new features like the Squarespace Video Studio to make professional level videos yourself and Squarespace member areas to offer your users exclusive content. Plus, you always have access to Squarespace analytics to understand your audience. Go to squarespace.com slash WTF for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code WTF to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash WTF. Offer code WTF. Yes. 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 Let's do the show. That's how the sausage is made. I'm not really advertising on the stream, no. I'm just doing my job. And I left it on. I left it on. Oh, fuck. What am I going to talk about? Huh. What's the point of doing an ad fast when there's no cost to the airtime? It's just the rhythm I choose, dude. Wait, what, what would you rather? Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful website or grow your business or personal brand. It's got everything you need. It's super easy to use. And there are great new features like Squarespace Video Studio to make professional-level videos yourself. And Squarespace member areas to offer your users exclusive content. Plus, you always have access to Squarespace analytics to understand your audience. Is that better for you? Fuck. Is that better? What kind of fucking question is this? Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create. There you go. No, I'm not doing that take. I mean, it's, I'm just answering some dude's question. What's the point of reading the ads fast when you, you have all the time in the world? It's like, I don't know. What's the point of playing fast? What's the point of doing anything fast? It's the intensity of the effect. I'm not doing that take. I'm just making a point for fuck's sake. Why are people so goddamn earnest and take everything seriously now? Don't ever ask me what my favorite Marin podcast was. I mean, it's like the worst question every fucking idiot in the world asked me that during interviews. It's like, they're all pretty good. I usually just answer with like, what was last week? Michael Mann was pretty good. That's right up there. What was a couple of weeks ago? Rosie Perez, that was great. I mean, you know, it's really, they're, they're almost all pretty fucking good, to be honest with you. I don't know why all of a sudden it's working again. 
Maybe they just worked it out. Um, cranky old man. All right. I was a cranky, I was a cranky young man. I've been cranky my whole fucking life. What, what is it with young cunts who think that calling me an old guy is somehow some massive insult? Cranky old man. Who gives a fuck? I was cranky when I was fucking 20. What's not to be cranky about? What's the opposite of cranky? Snoozeville. I don't know that I'll be visiting New Zealand. I don't know who, uh, who I'd like to interview a second time. I doubt that I'll go see Springsteen on this tour. I don't see hardly anything. Am I excited for JFL in Toronto? Yes, more excited about that than JFL in Montreal. I did not see Louis and Joe List's movie. You didn't get roasted. You just got answered. You should know the difference. I answered you. Then I gave a example of why I do it the way I do it. And then I criticized the question in general. That's not being roasted. It's, it's answering the question on a lot of different levels. I don't know what's going on with Hunter Biden. So that's, that's, that's a loaded pocket of stuff. Who has a favorite movie? What, what is the fucking question? Why is that? Like, what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? This or that? thoughts on this or that what it what there's many movies i'm fucking 58 years old you know like there's many movies danny trejo's been on steven spielberg can come on whenever he wants wtfpod.com slash podcast what time is it I'm done with guitars, really. I do record new ads for each show. Fifty-seven and a half. Aren't I fifty-eight and a half? I don't need to tour with David Tell. We're, we're as close as people who have worked in the same business and know each other for 40 years can be. I've known him a long time. I love Dave. But I'm not going to tour with Dave. It's not the right fit. Mark Marin did go to college. Yo, yo, yo. What do you want, John? These fucking idiots with more than one... I don't like Dave Matthews band on principle. Dude, I'm coming back to Dublin. I don't know how many times I got to fucking say it. I mean, you know, I've announced the date over and over again. I'll be at Vicker Street in October. Am I a virgin at 58? What are you, a fucking moron? Ugh, Jesus Christ. Sure, I would interview Vim Vendors. I have no idea about Spencer Confidential. I, I don't know that I'd be involved with it. I have no idea about any of that shit. I'm coming, I don't know if I'm coming to Stockholm. 
on principle. What does that even mean? He's a fucking bore. And, you know, I've vocally been kind of like not into it publicly for a long time. So I've established that I don't like Dave Matthews. So, you know, and that was years ago on a special with a huge bit. So on principle, that means like I'm committed to it. It seems to be something that I've already said publicly. I love the new Beatles doc documentary. I had to throw away a um, a watermelon today. The P.O. Box is P.O. Box 50753, L.A.C.A. 90050. Um, I did watch this Apple documentary. I thought it was good. Would I ever interview Trump? Not, eh, no. Not unless we, you know, we had complete control of it. I don't speak any other language. I don't know. I'd like to interview Taika Waititi. I don't know why that hasn't happened yet. What time is it? I got to do this. Some wild critter. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Shit on my sidewalk during the day, like right in the front sidewalk. While I, you know, in between times I was outdoors and it looked like a fairly large animal in terms of the shit size. And my fucking ring uh, camera didn't pick it up. It picks up trucks driving by, but it didn't pick up whatever shit right on the sidewalk in direct line with the fucking camera. Very disappointing. I think it was the coyote. Coyote stopped here. I don't know why. I think it was a coyote. No, it wasn't a dog because people walk their dogs. They're not going to, and they'd have to, it would have to have come around into my yard. And this looked like wild animal shit. It's the same shit that's been there before that I've not been able to identify. Um, maybe it was a chupacabra. Oh, it was chupacabra. Or ghost shitter. All right. I think um, I think it's time. I think we we covered more than we anticipated. Um, oh my god! The sugar detox a lot, man. No, it was probably, I think it was probably the coyote. I don't know why they hang around, but they hang around. Um, we could go on a quick watermelon field trip, but I kind of really want to record this before Jerry Harrison. I forgot to go on a field trip. I forgot to go on the watermelon field trip. I had to angrily throw away a watermelon. I'm not really eating fruit. I'm only eating some watermelon, some blueberries. That's all I'm allowed. This is the 10th day. I have to decide what I want to do. No, they, my cats are not allowed out. 
case in point, coyote shit during the day in my front yard. Um, it's better, man. I'm not diabetic. No, I just was on the road too long and I got myself hooked on sugar and carbs and I need to pull back. Nicotine was harder to quit than anything. Are Adrian and Jerry tonight? I didn't think I could make the show. I was a latecomer to the Ramones. Yeah, nicotine's a rough one. What do I ask for in my rider? I need to ask for more in my rider. I literally only ask for ginger ale, Zevia ginger ale, and raw cashews. That's my whole rider. But that gets a little sad where everywhere you go, there's just a bag of raw cashews and Zevia ginger ale. I don't know what, uh, what that is that you're asking me about. I'll do more voice acting. Congrats, congrats, congrats on the sobriety. Everybody who's sober, good job. Booster, what's up, buddy? What's up, pal? Hey, hey, there he is. What's up, Booster? Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, Buster. Did a coyote shit outside yesterday? What was that? Booster, Booster. Hey, buddy. Booster. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Buster. Booster. What's up, pal? What are you working on? What are you working on, Booster? Huh? What is it? What's up, buddy? What? What is it? Booster.
Exciting. Where's Sam? Sam. 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 I see your feet. Sam. Sam. They're both on medicine food. Um, I gotta go, man. A lot of walking. I don't know what good it does. I've not seen any of the glow cast around lately, no. Everybody is cleansing. They're trying to have some control over something. As everything spirals out of control and everything gets more hopeless, people grasp. I'm going to Europe. I'm going to be in, I might try to do a Scotland date, but I'm going to be in London and in Dublin. My porch does, it goes around the front of the house, yeah. I'm just enjoying blocking weird Persian trolls. Good? Good? I don't have love for Robin Ford, but I do not have no love for Robin Ford. I don't know really much about Robin Ford. I wish somebody could explain to me where and why all these strange Arabic trolls come from. I'm glad we're back in the same track. Does anyone understand it? What is the goal of the trolls, of the bots? Oh, is it data mining? Internet is freaky? It is, yeah. What's up, Buster? They are fixed. I don't let randoms join the chat. I would like to see Rage Against the Machine. I'm, and I've only, I wasn't that huge a fan. But there's something with them signing on that does the thing. Um, okay, sorry, I got preoccupied. Too close. Use whatever options you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself and, or others. And uh, 
Take it easy. Buddha face.